If you want to get more knife kills on Valorant and just get more laughs in, more smiles while playing Valorant, then this video is for you. This is our third and final episode on our three-part series on knifing. It was our knifing guide for Valorant. So that being said, in this series, basically my goal is to show you guys a bunch of knifing spots, like some really cool spots you could hide in just to uh, get more knife kills. Like some spots people don't check. I taught you guys how to do a quick switch knife, which knifes a little bit faster than your regular uh, heavy click knife. And on top of all of that, I'm going to show you guys a really cool omen teleport on this map with all of these knifing spots that I'm going to show you on this map. And this omen teleport is very, very sneaky and it can help you get a lot of knife kills or just actually win the game in general, you know. On CSGO, you get roughly $1,200 if I remember correctly for every knife kill. On this game, you get zero. So knifing on this game isn't really as useful as it is on CSGO. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. Knifing in this game is super fun, especially when the other team gets all mad that you are knifing the same guy like 20 times and uh, he can't do anything about it because each time you're in a new spot and he's checking the old one, you know? But that being said, for this guide, we are going to start on B and we are going to work our way down the map and I'm just going to show you guys a bunch of spots you could just sit in and uh, how you can get there, when it would work, and how to get those kills. So first here on B, this one is probably the first... This is literally my favorite one, so I'll come here. Now if it's on pistol round, I actually won't do this, I like to just be here. I am generally in favor of my aim when it comes in 1v1 situations, but it might not be like that for you. So I like to have these duels on pistol round and try to get as many picks as possible. But if you don't want to do that, if you feel like you're going to die, this is when you can do this. You can come here and then you teleport over there, right? And then you just sit here and you literally hug this wall. And what they'll do is they'll come up here and they'll check over there. And uh, they'll be checking there, but they didn't see you walk across because they get there pretty fast. So they're like, okay, so nobody's there. Let's focus on this side just so we don't get killed from here, right? So you're going to be right here. And normally what I'll do actually is I'll wait until more than one walk up. Because if, I'll keep my crosshair on the first guy, obviously, just for the headshot. And I'll just track him and make sure it's on his head. But sometimes there'll be people behind him. And if you kill him, that loses your chance to kill the others. This is spot number one. Now, you could actually set this up so people don't hear the teleport. It's really hard to even locate the Omen's teleport. But if you are worried about that, if you're in a high-level game, you could smoke it off. And that'll actually cover the sound of your teleport, right? Now, this is my favorite spot on B. You could kind of sit here. But if you sit here, you're risking getting shot from here if I actually full check here. Because this is really easy to check and people do check it very often. So if you do want to sit here, you can maybe smoke off like deep here. So like you're barely covered, it's just a corner of the smoke covering you. This smoke is actually too close to me, so it'd be deeper. It'd be like maybe like a smoke like right here. And then it would literally be just covering the corner of you. So, And this smoke, basically what it does is they don't know what's over there. So when they walk in from here, they're not worried about here. They don't expect anybody there. They're worried about here where people could actually shoot them. And you're going to be standing right here. You could pop out, get a knife kill, and then kill the rest. Now, you could sit in spots like this, spots like these behind this box, but these are all like kind of too late. You kind of gave them sight. I personally like my spots to be away from sight, especially on defense, just so it gives my team a chance to rotate because this in itself isn't very useful getting a knife kill. If I have a Vandal, I'll be sitting right here on top of this box just because people are aiming at head level would be right here. So I'm just like screwing it up for them a little bit and I'd be right here with my Vandal scoped in. But if I'm with an operator, I would probably play a little bit more aggressively just because that's the way I am as a player or I could like shoulder peek this guy right here and see if he pre-fires, see if there's anybody there. Now for a knife kill here, actually, I would be staying here. Now, this is a lot less risky, and make sure your crosshair is pointed towards this so it doesn't stick out, right? Another spot here, this is kind of a mid spot. I like to smoke off here a couple rounds before just so like it's not sketchy, and then I teleport over there to cover the sound and everything else. I'll literally sit right here, and people like, Sometimes they'll check the spot, but there's no reason for me to be here. I've smoked that off a couple rounds before, like I said, and they've probably checked here all those rounds, so now they're probably tired of checking it. And uh, they'll just walk up, and this is where you wait for the whole team or whoever is behind the first person, because there's probably more than one. And you pop out, and you either knife or you just clap all of their cheeks. That's right here. This is not a place to knife. You could start knifing again when you get here, but people will check this. I check this spot literally all the time. There's always somebody here. You could actually knife here. This is a nice spot to knife right here. You could wait here. And you also could wait right here. This one's super fun. They'll obviously clear here. But then they'll check here because they expect somebody there. And then they'll check like this. And uh, you are actually going to be right here. Just chilling right here. Just make sure your head doesn't stick out. And your crosshair towards the box so it doesn't stick out. And he's checking everything. He's going to walk up there. And you could either shoot him in the face or you come up behind him and knife him. 
Now I don't really like to do any knifing in bathrooms. You can kind of do it if you sit here, but if they check from up there, it's kind of risky. This is actually a decent spot. People will check there first because this is more scary to them. So they'll pop out here and then as soon as they pop out to check there, your teammate might even be there. So you just knife them real quick and make sure you hide from there. And you could even smoke that off, but they'll see where the smoke is coming out of so they'll know you're there. Now let me show you guys the teleport I was talking about. This is with the teleporter. It actually fakes the whole teleporter. So what it looks like is like this. And you hear the teleporter, they think you went through the teleporter, and then you could sit here with your knife and wait for them to go up to the teleporter, and then you knife them. Another way you could do this actually is this way. And then you come here and wait for them to go this way, and then you could shoot them as they go into the teleporter. Now you could actually knife in the teleporter itself, so you could sit right behind here because this is where they spawn. So as soon as they spawn, you literally right click. You have to do it real fast because they'll run forward. If you miss the first one, just pull out your gun and then shoot them. Because this is very, very risky. <laughs> Sometimes people even turn around now and start flicking. I used to do this all the time and people started catching on, it feels like. Those are my favorite spots to sit in and get knife kills and just get some laughs in the game when uh, we're either doing good or, you know, I just feel like having some fun. That being said, if you haven't seen part one and part two of the series, you should check them out. You're going to learn a lot more about knifing and some other really cool tricks, not just knife spots. It's mainly knife spots, but you're going to learn a bunch of other stuff too, which is really, really useful. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe for more. I love you guys. Peace out.